Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Solomon Jagwe. I am back with another quick insight. Today we're going to be talking about how to improve the mouth movement for the metahuman character using the live link face up. Uh, so many of you have asked, you know, how were you able to get your character to have the mouth finally closed? And there are two things that I had to do. One, uh, I had to attach this connection right here and I'll put a link in the description of the video so you can see where to find this but this makes it possible for you to take uh, transfer the data from the iPhone and the app directly into your computer much faster the data is better and it's much more stable than Wi-Fi so hey guys uh, if you're new to my channel I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And thank you so much to everybody else that has subscribed. And uh, thank you so much to my patrons. I'm now up to 12. I appreciate that so much. Thank you so much. You guys inspire me to continue creating these videos and insights. Okay. So once you've connected this, uh, you can still use Wi-Fi. That's not a problem. But uh, in order to get the data to transfer much faster, I would recommend getting this uh, connection. It's, an, it's for iOS. And if I look underneath here you can see I have the Ethernet cable plugged into my uh, router and it also uses a uh, power so it's your phone can charge while you're doing this and if the data is not moving uh, it's not you, you're seeing some lag and dropped uh, frames plug in the power cord that will help a lot okay and so and that's plugged into my charging port down here okay so that's one of the first things that you have to do. And even when I put on my head mounted camera, you know, my homemade head mounted camera rig, uh, I still find a way to connect that cable. And I have a long, long cable that it, it gives me freedom to move. OK, and so for the lips themselves, right, uh, that is something that you have to edit inside the blueprint. You find the blueprint in the content folder. OK. And you go to sample humans, the sample humans folder, double click on that, and then click to the common folder right there, open that, and under the face, that's where you find the face anime blueprint. Double click on that, and it's going to bring up sorry let me move this camera back a little bit so it's going to bring up uh, this window with the face anim blueprint and so there are two things that i changed uh, first of all you can see that we're already struggling to close the lips kind of like that you know that is the problem so what you do is you go um, i'm using the right mouse, mouse button to drag and then i'm gonna zoom in sorry zoom into the live link face like right here and then let me see if I can maximize that make it a little bit bigger so you can see let's move this way over here so this is what you need to be and if by default if it opens up and you are in the event graph make sure you double click on the animation blueprint the animation sorry, the animation graph down here double click on that and it will bring this up okay so look for follow the cache pause body pause go to the live link face and i'm assuming by at this point that you've already connected your uh, iphone the iphone 10 and uh what oh by the way sorry one thing before i carry on uh, under here i'm gonna move this out of the way for a second so in under the settings okay make sure that you're in airplane mode okay turn turn on airplane mode like that and make sure ethernet is enabled okay and so no no wi-fi make sure the wi-fi is turned off you in airplane mode and that will make make it possible for you to connect directly to your phone and uh, let me make sure that wi-fi is turned off okay and so wi-fi is off uh we are in uh, airplane mode okay and ethernet 
is on. So what you saw me, uh, what, when you saw the data going initially, that was Wi-Fi. So now we need to be, make sure that it is uh, the Ethernet cable that is transferring the data. Okay, and now we can get out of here, come back, and you can see the data is coming through. And so you're gonna get a, a much better you know, data transfer rate uh, using this connection right here. And this is available on Amazon. Uh, I'll link up. A li I'll do a link in the description of the video so you can see where to get it. Uh, this was actually very affordable. It wasn't very expensive. All right. So now that I, we have the data streaming into uh, the Unreal Engine, and let me sorry go back a little bit. <laughs> Bear with me here for a second. All right. So what we need to do is we need to break this connection right here. And again, it's the live link face. So drag this out like so. I'm gonna place a new node, okay? And type in curve, C-U-R-V-E. And we need a modify curve, okay? And so it, we will need two of these. So right click on the animation pause and add a curve pin. And we're gonna look for mouth shrug down so let's scroll all the way down look for mouth shrug let's see mouth shrug lower so we'll need this one and we'll need also the mouth shrug upper so we start with the lower okay and we'll right click and add another one another curve pin and let's bring up all the way down scroll all the way down and bring up mouth shrug uh, upper so we did lower mouth shrug so okay so now we have mouth shrug lower and mouth shrug upper all right so and then the number that I used let me let me go ahead and connect this to the source over here and let's go ahead and uh, compile Okay, so even at this stage, you're noticing that the mouth is still not closing properly, but these two values are going to be the, the difference. So for mouth shrug lower, I'm going to put 0.5. I'm showing you the numbers that I used to make my, the video that I did previously look uh, the way it looks now. Press enter. Okay, so it's not yet there. And then put 0.5 as well enter and then we're gonna compile so you can see the difference these numbers are the ones that are actually get you to where you want so play with this number right and so we need to I have math shrug lower math shrug upper let's take this to 0.8 let's just play with some numbers and see Okay, so that's getting it closer. And let's do 0.8 as well. Compile. So I'm showing you the differences. Okay, point. So as you this slip is going up, you can see <laughs> I, you don't want that. So we're gonna do 0.1 and compile all right so the mouth shrug upper that's the top the top lip is uh lower is lowered and so now as i talk you can see the lips closing so play with this number uh because if you are talking and your character is not speaking properly it could be because this number is unique to the way you speak if you go back to 0.5 and compile So that, for me, the way I'm talking is uh, much closer to the, making the mouth open. Let me move the camera away. So guys, that is the key to making the mouth close. And also when you're talking, at the end of each line, try to close your lips. 
Okay, it's like uh, acting classes. You know, you tell the person that your uh, voice actor, that as you're talking, whenever you finish a line, close your lips. Okay, like that, and then make sure you uh, save. So if we minimize this, hey friends, now you can see the quality that I was able to get. And that's how I was able to make that video of the meta humans talking to the artists. <laughs> So that's how I was able to get the lips to close. That is the setting that I was able to. So guys, I hope that was helpful. Uh, please spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are alerted when I uh, post a new video. And thank you so much for your support, guys. And so what I do is after I record this uh, tech, I go to Premiere and I also adjust the audio ever so slightly on the timeline to match up because currently i think because i don't know if they this app needs an update but we don't get like a one-to-one -one ratio just yet because even as i am talking you can see that there is a brief delay before the data gets to the computer okay and uh, let me move over here so thank you so much guys and uh, i hope you're staying safe uh, please don't give up on your dreams. Let's continue to take advantage of this technology and uh, dare to dream big as always. Uh, I want to say thank you so much to Epic Games for this awesome uh, project.